Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's move on. I got to drop y'all out for a minute. It's getting a little too fiery. This is a Q&A, and I do got the timer going. So we got to we gotta move on to the next person that's going to ask a question, all right? Uh, yeah, I see y'all going to have to get back in the ring again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so let me go ahead and bring y'all back in. All right. <laughs> and then uh, let's go ahead and bring on the next person. All right, Gospel Focus, Gospel Focus. You're live on the air. Where are you tuning in from? I'm tuning in from uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma, in the building, man. You ever, hey, y'all good with all those tornadoes out there? We good for right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is right, Tornado right. Alley. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Who is your question for? Uh, Amiyan. Um, okay, go ahead. A quick question. Uh, there in, in Hebrews chapter 9, in verse 22, the last part of that says, um, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. And so my question is, with the the topic of the debate, would God accept animal sacrifices today? And so, would would you accept? Well, would you offer animal sacrifices today for for sins? Because if if we know that Christ took away our sins, but would you? Because just listening to the debate, it seems as if you are for animal sac sacrifices currently today. Yeah, the, the bar explained in the beginning of the debate that if there's a temple up, a priesthood, and the priesthood are executing the temple service, of course, yes. The, according to the Gabar, can I share my screen so we can? Um, can I share my screen so I can let, let the let the text talk because they 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 seem to be under some wrong impression here of what uh, the book actually says. Yeah, just let me know whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. Can you see that? It says right here, this is speaking of Christ, it says, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation, this is the sacrifice, through the faith of his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins, it says, that are past. That are past, not future. Not Say what now? In the future, that are past, it says, through the forbearance of God. So his sacrifice is dealing with the past, talking about what Israel did in the broken, that covenant that they made in the wilderness, it the sins that are past, it says, nothing in the future, okay? So the, the, the topic is, if there is a temple up, a Levitical priesthood in order executing the temple service according to God, yes, God would accept that because that's what he ordained. And Elder Mike have not shown anything at all to say that God wouldn't because we see God still accepting these things in the future. And okay. I showed, and I, I also showed you where I showed you in he I showed you in Hosea where, where God says that we would go many days without it. Nothing that he said did away with it. Okay, so another question, a follow-up to that. That since you say that the the sacrifice of Christ was for the past. No, the and, book said it, not me. I just read okay, it. Okay, okay. And, and so um, does that mean, or are you saying that we need to do animal, animal sacrifices now in the present? And if so, have you done animal sacrifices? I've not done it because we don't have a temple and a priesthood up. If there's a temple up and a priesthood intact, I would. And my and also, that's why I read to you, I read to you that in, in, the, in Jerusalem, there are Christians who are killing animals in our time. That's why I read it for you. So, I mean, the Christians over here in North America, they obviously is missing something because the Christians in, in Jerusalem, they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so basically then, if there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood, and if you have not killed any animals after what Christ has done, that means that you are still in your sin, and your sin has not been forgiven. Is that true? How according, can I, to, according to the scriptures. How 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 can I how can I have my sins forgiven? Like I said, we the debate is if there is a temple and a priesthood intact. I'm un, I'm God. So if 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 the question is, I got sin and I need to go offer animals for it, but the the text says you got to bring it to the priest at the temple, but there is no priest and temple to bring it to. 
how can I do that, brother, in in in, in, these, in these days and time? What I but the means for me to bring it to is not present. It's, and, and so another follow up to that: um, if if there is no temple, that means that your sins have not been forgiven. If you have not sacrificed this animal, if, if, if we're saying that Christ was not enough, if his sacrifice was not enough, um, then are you saying that, okay, since the temple was not up, it's, it's all good? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to reason with you. Elder Mike, help me out here. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to see. Have your sins well, been forgiven, Amiyan? I'm saying what I'm, asking. Wait, what? Have your sins been forgiven? Brother, I, I I hope my sins. I I, I pray and, and I, I do I do what I can do to have my sins. I I I'm, let me read this for you. I'll read this for you right here. Let me let me the Bible talk. Let me the Bible talk because the Bible talks about different ways of having sins forgiven. It isn't just about killing an animal. I want to come to the book of James so I can so I can make the Bible talk. James chapter uh, I think it's chapter four verse seventeen. That's what it what it says here. I think it's James chapter four verse seventeen. Uh, Oh, maybe it's... give me one second and I'll pull the verse right quick. Because James talks about another way of having your sins being forgiven as well or covered. Let me say that another word, not uh, covered. Same thing as being forgiven in the book of James. James talks about this. Uh, so there's another way to have our sins forgiven. James chapter five. Let me get James chapter five, verse 19 and 20. Here's what it says. I read it for me. The boy, you can see my screen. No, I'm, I'm pulling up. I got the scriptures here. It says right here, brethren, if any man do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his ways shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins or hide or cover a multitude of sins. So you converting someone from the error of their ways, this can go ahead, as it says right here, that can hide or cover your sins as well, according to James. Okay, and, and, and I, don't, I don't want to take up too much more time, but but it says as I go back to that text in Hebrews, it says that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins, and and, and so if, if we're saying that we still need to do animal sacrifices, and if we're saying that well we can't do it because there's no temple in place, then what we're saying is that we're still in our sins if, if there's no temple. I just I just showed you there's another way of having your sins covered. I just read it in James for you, brother. And that's what I do. I, I'm a teacher. I, I I I convert people from the error of their ways all the time. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a long time. Can I take a swing at that <laughs> real quick? Go ahead. You haven't converted anybody without the sacrifice of Christ from their sins. That's bottom line. Nobody your, is that's saved. That's your speculation. Okay. You can't prove that. Prove I haven't. Prove I haven't converted nobody. I'm saying him, outside, him, outside him, of the blood sacrifice of Christ. Now, as a teacher, we should instruct people what truth is. But in order to do that, we point them to Christ. So if you haven't pointed them to Christ, you haven't swearing them from their sins. I don't care what you told them. Now, let me read a scripture here real quick, because you said Elder Mike hasn't proved that God... <laughs> doesn't accept the sacrifices. I'm going to prove it again just by reading. Therefore, when he came into the world, he, he said, you see that he uh, it's in the capital, right? The translator put that in the capital because he knows he's talking about the Lord, God. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. But a body, this is the body bag right here. You don't even, <laughs> Christ, but a body you have prepared for me. See? A body you have prepared for me in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin. Watch this. You had no pleasure. So don't say Elder Mike have not proven that God doesn't have pleasure in animal sacrifices because the text says it, bro. Mike didn't write this. Mike didn't quiz this. Mike didn't have to interpret this. Mike read this. You, my friend, are struggling with the text, but the text is clear. Okay, and for you to say that you you don't have you you don't even have a sacrifice okay. for sin. All right, all right. All right. let me respond right. to that, bro. Yeah, you can quickly respond, and then we gotta move on to the next person. I've already responded to it already. I said that the sin that Israel committed, you couldn't bring an animal for that. That's why the text says you prepared me a body because the animal couldn't take away that particular sin. That's why it needed a body. 
The text that you saying it right there to you. For that sin, he can't. He's not going to want or desire a, a animal for that because an animal can take away that sin. He needed a, a human body. All right, all right, all right, all right. Gospel focus. We definitely thank you. Your time. Yeah, maybe we got to go ahead. And move Good on job, because, gospel focus. Because, because we keep getting these uh, notifications about people trying to get on, and we're already at capacity. So we got to go ahead. Appreciate and you. Go. So uh, thank you for your time, and stay safe out there in those in those twisters. Yes, sir. Thank you. All thank right, you, all right, girl. All right. All right, God bless you. All right, so uh, let's bring on the next person. We got Cherry Love. Cherry Love, you're live on the air. Say what's up to the people. Uh, yes, peace and blessings. Shout out to Sal Showtime. God bless you, uh, Elder Mike. Peace and blessings to you. I hope you guys can hear me well. Um, uh, and to everybody, <laughs> thank you, bro. Uh, and to everybody in the chat. Before I give my question, uh, question um, um, I have to say that some of the Christians and even Hebrew Israelites were quite disturbed, Amyan, about what you're saying right now. Um, and I, I'm very saddened for you. Um, and I'm not saying that disrespect.